Good morning and a beautiful, and in my case, snowy day to you. It is beautiful today. The snow stopped, melted mostly. Just wait till the big truck goes by. But there's still snow around. It's still really cold. I'm gonna need more clothes than this. But today, saying farewell to Budapest, it's been wonderful here. Uh, even in the cold and the snow, although the snow has added to the atmosphere. It's time for another train journey to yet another country. <laughs> This is more like it for going out and about in the snow. Nice woolly hat, thick jacket, some layers, good thick socks, waterproof shoes. I'm still missing a decent pair of gloves that I can use when I'm filming. But I've got to go and catch a train. Come on, let's grab them bags and get out of here. He's walking outside past the building and somebody closed the window and a whole raft of snow fell off the roof on top of me. <laughs> it's in my bag down, and it first fell down my neck and now I've got a wet back. Oh, oh, the trials are falling in the snow. <laughs> Remember the Christmas tree? That's what it looks like now. Looks a bit better now when <laughs> first arrived. They were just delivering it. Hmm, yeah. so I have found my train. At least I hope it's my train. It's got Bratislava on the side. It's got to be going there. So let me show you um, a second class train from Budapest. The train actually goes Budapest to Prague. So when you're looking for your Bratislava train, look for Prague. Now I'm second class. There's two types of second class. The sort of open traditional one you used to and these ones. Now they're quiet compartments. So they're meant to be a bit um, you know, not meant to make noise in them. They have six seats, a table, there is lots of room for your luggage in the luggage racks. There is a PowerPoint, two pin round, typical European. Uh, if you get a window seat, you can obviously unfold the table. Like this, do some work. I'll just put your helmet and sleep. Uh, you get a window seat, see what's going on outside. But yes, uh, but yes, very nice and neat. At the moment, my train's nice and quiet, so hopefully it'll stay that way, or if people do come in my carriage, they'll be nice and quiet for the journey. So I'm gonna bag myself a window seat here, my bags up top, get my camera out, my book out, some snacks, and enjoy the journey from Budapest to Bratislava in Slovakia. Welcome aboard the train! This is the train that goes from Budapest to Prague in the Czech Republic, but I'm going to hop off at Bratislava, the capital of Slovakia, on the way. Now, ha, interesting thing this morning, I found out this morning that there's actually two railways, main railway stations in Budapest, and of course, 
I went to the wrong one. I went to the one that I arrived on, which was the train from Vienna. Oh. Which, of course, was the wrong one. But you can buy tickets for all the destinations at both railway station offices. So I bought my ticket there, then I got a couple of metro uh, trains to this station, and then I, then I had plenty of time, so I went and had a coffee. Now I'm on the train, so it wasn't a bit of a train smash. But if you'd already booked your ticket, and you were running to a deadline, something to note of. There is two stations where trains leave from in Budapest. Make sure you go to the right station first time. It'll save you a little bit of time. And we're off! Smack on time. Farewell Budapest. It's been a fantastic few days. It has been cold, but that's what I get for visiting in December. The snow was really brilliant to experience. It was early snow, though I think everybody was a bit surprised, but it made it look beautiful. Unfortunately, I couldn't go out and get any pictures in the snowy day because it just snowed all day and it was snow and grey. And I'm leaving today, so upside I didn't have to go trekking around in the cold snow. Downside, I didn't get any beautiful pictures of Budapest in the snow something else to come back for. Budapest is a beautiful city. The buildings, the location um, makes it, I can see why it is such or maybe one of the most popular cities in uh, the central part of Europe to visit. It's not cheap cheap but it's not that expensive so you, you know again as always avoid the typical touristy areas and you can get some really good value the food is really beautiful the people are friendly and nice English is so widely spoken it's humiliating um, uh, I try to learn one or two words and you just go ah, and they start speaking to you in English and uh, you know and this goes from people in the supermarkets people at the train stations people random people on the street um, people who have got no necessary business needing English for their job but they switch to English and they are super nice and super helpful um, quite polite as well so be nice to them the city is nice easy to get around quite compact um, if you've got a good pair of walking legs you can walk to all the areas quite easily and you can zip from uh, from distant areas on the metro or the trams really nicely too so enjoy Budapest the markets, the Christmas markets, which I came to see, were nice too. And now it's to another country, uh, Slovakia, and uh, go and see their capital, Bratislava. Never been to Slovakia before. Well, it's my first time in Hungary as well. So I'm quite excited. It's about a two and a half train journey, two and a half hour train journey, and I must remember to get off at Bratislava because this train goes all the way through to Prague, uh, and I, I start and end in Prague. But I've got lots more to do in the middle. So let's have a look at the window. Oh, it's so snowy, and show you snowy Budapest farewell. Look at that. Oh, just that. And welcome to Slovakia. We have crossed the border. Of course, being part of the European Union, um, there is no stop at the border, no border control, so the train just rolls through, but um, had a change of crew in the, on the train, and the announcer has changed as well. And um, it's now no longer a Hungarian train, it's now a Slovakian train, train service. So, um, landscape still looks beautiful, beautiful sun, still a dusting of white snow over the landscape here. And uh, I think just about another hour to go, and I'll be heading off the train. <laughs> ah, 
What a beautiful journey. Managed to keep the carriage, this compartment, entirely to myself. So I had nice peace and quiet, nobody coming in disturbing me. And the scenery has been stunning. The light dusting of snow, and then I had some patches of blue sky and sunshine. Sun now, but some big clouds coming up. And going past some lakes and mountains and towns and villages. It has been beautiful. I spent most of the time glued to the window looking outside at the passing scenery. This is one of the nice things with train journeys. You can sit back, let somebody else do the driving, and look outside and enjoy. But, um, oh no, this is Bratislava, I've got to get my gear off. Okay, come on, let's go. Grab bags. Oh no, I'm not at all ready. <laughs> okay, I left this a bit late. Let's get going. Wait, 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 wait. Bags, let's get off before the train leaves. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, everybody's piling on. Oh, oh. I made it. Ooh. Now, how do I get out of here? Exit. Exit this way. Thank you, train. Welcome to Bratislava. <laughs> Managed to get off the train in time, just! <laughs> Everybody's busy piling on, I'm like, huh, busy talking to the camera and realised I'm in Bratislava! That was a nice easy journey. So now, out of the station and yes, you guessed it, I've got to find my way to my accommodation. Now, I've got to get tram one to somewhere, tram one, bus one, tram one to the central area and then I've got to walk a little bit because my accommodation is in a pedestrianised area, so it should be nice and quiet from traffic anyway. Ah, tram stop, tram stop. Any information, how do I pay for it, how do I get a ticket? I am so unprepared. Ah. Okay, I found a machine of some kind. I think it's a pocket station. No, no idea what it is. Uh, how do I make it speak English to me? Pay with card. Euros here in Slovakia. Now it seems to be select the type of ticket you want and press select one ticket. Now, uh, two region, 70 euro, a 60 minute ticket, a 30 minute ticket. Better buy a 30 minute ticket. It's one euro. I do have euros. So. So here's all the things it's got. Two people, 15 minutes I think that means. Two region. I have no idea why. Oh, that's for a young I think. So I've picked this one, 30 minutes, two region. 101. No idea what that means. But let's uh, press that. Give it my euro. It seems to have eaten that nicely. I can change anyway, that's bring me a ticket. Okay, give me my ticket. And here's a ticket. Now I don't know if it'll validate it or not. But I shall guess. And that was nice and easy to find. I got my key. It was a four minute walk round the corner from where the tram stopped to the accommodation. And let's show you what it's like. It's huge. A sofa, dining table, big bathroom, shower, big TV. Isn't that lovely? That is really nice. Whoop. So I've gone a bit wonky. Whoop. Okay. Isn't that, 
and it's really lovely, really spacious and right in the heart of Bratislava. So now I'm here, I don't have to go anywhere else. I'm just gonna walk to everywhere, show you Bratislava. But first today, it's time to get some food. <laughs> I'm hungry again.